Okay, folks, uh, we're here for second installment in the Science Olympiad glider reviews, whatever you want to call them. Just intros to other people's kits because I'm curious. Uh, so this is for Guru Engineering Tech. Um, Guru has gotten the name, has built a name for selling very, very affordable glider kits. They do fly quite well. Um, and I've, I've worked with you. Let's see, I'm trying to figure, I've ordered both their rubber power and their glider, and I have to figure out which one this is. That's my packing slip for both of them. Um, that's not a glider. So we will proceed to the other box. Um, cap my CA accelerator. Here we go. All right. So anyway, Guru Engineering Tech has uh, developed a name for, uh, like I said, for selling affordable kits. Uh, they do fly well. Um, I've gotten a lot of business from folks though who have built their their kits out and then have crashed them all and then want something, you know, uh, additional. Um, because the, the protégés, regardless of anything else, the protégés fuselage is almost indestructible. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna, instead of, I'm going to do a proper unboxing. Let's see, here we go. Alright, so, um, first of all, we've got this little guy, and um, there is, I'm not going to show this because they want to keep it um, uh, confidential, but there's a uh, video access code, so they do a build video with these. Um, so this is, but this is your catapult stuff. Uh, then as we dig further down in here, there is a sheet here that actually does actually provide photographic instructions on uh, building these out, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you actually have full textual instructions as well. Um, and now I'm going to carefully go in here. I know this includes enough parts for quite a few of these. I can't remember how many, so we're going to find out. So, let me adjust the camera angle here. So, you know, these are fuselage assembly bits. Um, so this is, these are your fuselages. And, and they do work, uh, but like I said, they're, they are kind of fragile. Um, I don't know what those are, I can't remember. Um, and then here's parts for a catapult and whatnot, I think. Um, now, I personally disagree with the, the rudder design on these, it's just my opinion, or the, the stabilizer design. I understand why they're, they're doing this to save on balsa, but having the grain not the right direction isn't you know, isn't the greatest idea. Um, same with the fins having it horizontal. You could actually mirror that and it would still fit on this sheet. Um, but, anyway, uh, you've got very good quality balsa, it looks like. Yeah, that one's... it's not bad. Uh, it's all 132nd, so um, fairly light. Cut quality looks good. Um, I don't know what laser this is done on. It looks kind of like the um, done on a small laser like mine, um, or the one that I used to be running. But yep, yeah, I can tell from the little jiggle. Looks like it's done on a K40. The K40s aren't quite as uh, precise as what Retro RC uses. Um, but anyway, uh, everything looks to be good quality. So. I'll um, start cracking some of this open. At some point I'll look at the, the video. I'm not going to do that at, at the at the moment. Um, but maybe this weekend I'll get, get some time to look at the build video. Um, but anyway, the, the bottom line is I'll, I'll get do some of the build out here and then we will um, we'll, uh, come in at regular intervals as, as I go through the build process. Okay, so um, I did want, I, like I have, what I'm going to do with all of these. I sanded the wing down. The instructions, uh, at least in terms of basic assembly, don't say anything about that. Um, 
build video might, and I'll take a look at, at that at some point, but um, for now, uh, I did what the instructions don't say anything about. So I'm going to walk you through what they show to do here, which is you crack this wing right here, um, which is, uh, and then they say if it breaks completely, then you have to tape it. Um, so this part is a little bit of a, a pain to do, but it's not bad. Uh, so this is kind of along the same lines as what they do with the Retro RC kit. So you drop this guy in here like this. You hold the wing down. And so what you're supposed to do is pull the wing up in here. And so it's a little bit of annoyance to get everything lined up. And I have already reduced the dihedral angle slightly. Oh well. Is what it is. So there we go. Close enough. Um, yeah, it's hardened. Uh, like with the Retro RC kit, you can see there is some wash in out here in the wingtips. I want to compensate for that. Uh, generally, you're going to go out here and you're gonna bend these up a little bit, which you'll probably find yourself needing to do anyway uh, to trim this airplane correctly. Like that. So now we're. Now we're about where we want to be. Maybe a little more on this side. Because this is, I know this looks like left roll. It's actually right roll trim because it makes the wing do that. Um, okay, so that's got us brought up to that point. So we've got a wing assembled. Uh, I did throw together this little guy, which is the catapult hook. Uh, of course, I made the, uh, the pylon by laminating the two curved pieces of wood together. Uh, and then this is your dihedral forming thing my bobber. So uh, I'll be back when I get further along. Okay, so I will say this is a really fast, easy build. Um, so you just glue the little catapult hook on the front. Um, the wing, let me make sure everything's happy. Okay. Uh, the wing just mounts on here. You draw a mark uh, 18 centimeters from the front of the fuselage. Uh, you're, you're given some alignment marks on the um, rudder. I didn't read that in part of the instructions. Yeah. So you're supposed to have this V-notch and whatnot on the uh, stabilizer that you line it up with. Then you glue the rudder along on the marks that are cut into the stab, and that gives you right rudder. Well, I didn't do that, so I skewed the stab on its mounting just a little bit. I don't know if you can tell it's tilted this way slightly um, to correct for that. And then they say just CG it back here at the back of the pylon. Um, and they include this, what is the term? Poster putty. Um, this stuff come out of here. So we'll go ahead and CG the guy up. That's different. And now it's grossly nose heavy. That is almost like what I use to seal vacuum bags, actually. Um, and that was too much. It's almost like sticky tack or whatever you call it. Uh, Alright, so we'll give this a couple of test glides and then we'll go from there. And... Where's the test glide? Alright. And stalling. It may just be I threw the wrong one. So, let's give another shot. When my wife is rummaging through boxes, she shouldn't be. 
Alright. I am assuming we're just over elevated. So. Move it down the elevator. And my wife is throwing things. Not my wife, my son. No, my wife is just rummaging through boxes. One, there. Two, go. Ah, uh -uh, no, 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 no. All right, let's give this a little bit of clay. Because I do think that CG might be a little aft. Not too bad. You can probably make it fly back there, but... Since I can't take this outside because it's dark and the weather is deteriorating. Oh, that's a nice glide. Already put a dink in it just from my couch. Clumsy me. Yep, the glide's good. And my son's doing well. Alright, so. My, my couch. Let's go back over here. Alright. So, um, my take on good and the bad. A little bit challenging to line a few of the things up. Uh, it's very simple, it's very affordable. Builds four airplanes. Um, I have seen them fly well. They have won major contests in the past, so I'm not going to argue with, um, with the design necessarily. But uh, now, from a durability perspective, I do have some issues with um, Untapered 1 8 balsa, not the strongest uh, configuration. The grain really needs to be going the right direction on the tail surfaces, uh, especially on the rudder, because if I were to just whack that a little bit, it's going to break right off. Um, and it also, since the grain is, is going this direction, it's hard to bend the rudder to make um, trim adjustments. Um, I'll have to look through the build video and whatnot to see if there's any uh, instruction on washing out the wing tips, but uh, that's definitely something that needs to be addressed uh, because with, with this configuration, that, that is an issue you run into. But like I said, uh, for, for the price, it's a good airplane, um, and they are capable of being quite competitive. So we'll uh, come back to you when we're in a gym and flying it. <laughs>